What's up guys, this is XPC44, or Priest, and welcome to my Let's Play of Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1 for the Xbox 360. And yeah, um, <laughs> this game's been the game I've been waiting for for so long, and I finally got it today, the 13th of October release date. And I'm going to jump right into this, so let's go to new game. Splash holes on Act 1. Uh, this might look a little weird. Um, you'll still see like how like, the models and everything are. The only thing is it's not in HD because mainly because um, I can't record in HD with the DAZ with the DAZ that I have. So I'm gonna just record in standard definition. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. So, um, I have the game on the iPhone, well, I mean iPod Touch, and the Wii already. And I had the PS3 demo, so hopefully I don't suck too much because I know what the game is like. I intended to do a blind run through at first, but I decided I couldn't wait long, any longer, so I decided I might as well just get it. Uh, yeah, so a couple things to talk about. This game has been the game Sega's been, um, I don't know if I would say waiting, but it's what the fans have been waiting for for almost 16 years. Since Sonic 3 and Knuckles came out, there wasn't exactly like any title that was the um the sole like uh, sequel to the original Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And, oh, <laughs> Stupid chameleon thing. And this is that game that everyone's been waiting for. So Sega's hoping this will be like Sonic's big comeback and everything. I really, from what I played, it has been. Um, and everything. The graphics are amazing, the gameplay's just awesome. They brought back the special stages, the animated, the backgrounds, everything. It's just what a classic fan would want. Everything that you possibly think we, as classic fans. I'm a classic fan. Oh, I got an achievement. <laughs> classic fan and a modern fan, so yeah. And this is the first time playing the special stage in the Xbox version. Um, Alright, I thought it was the triggers to move. Alright. So yeah, that's how you control special stages. You rotate the special stage itself. It's not Sonic who's rotating. Um, it's not the. It's not like it wrote the stage rotates by itself and you control Sonic, like the Sonic one. But it's kind of like Sonic one in a way. I enjoy it, and I really gotta get used to the controls or else I'm gonna fail at the later ones. With the Wii and iPod versions, it was kind of easy because it was a D-pad. Um, and the D-pad on all wow, that's time, extra time. But uh these con these special stages control like this. You tilting the special stage and trying to get all the rings and uh, enough rings to pass a gate. So they kind of implemented uh, Sonic 2 style, but at the same time Sonic 1 as well. Which I find pretty cool. Alright, let me just get through this room. And there we go. Original Chaos Emerald sound and everything. This game is just exactly like the classics. And I'm gonna go through the whole game linearly. Well, I'm gonna go through. Oh wow, another achievement. I'm gonna go through um the game this way. I'm gonna do three acts and the boss because that's how it's split up. And I'm going to go to the world map and select the next song. So I'm not gonna play playing it completely classically. So yeah. Just so you guys can see the world map and everything, and all the new additions Sega's been added. Like, look at this. This is it's just like the classics. You um, I, I mean, like it's like Sonic 3 and Knuckles. The stage, the music changes every for every act, which I find pretty awesome. Like, really, yeah, this game has been so amazing so far from what I've played. It's like people think it's kind of weak. Like, some people don't really like it. Some people are still skeptical even though it's been out, but to me, I don't know, maybe it's because I'm a gigantic Sonic fan, I don't care, it's an awesome game, it's a great first step in the saga of Sonic 4, and everything. We got some invincibility music, the stars going around Sonic like in Sonic 1. Um, I'm actually on the, they have leaderboards in this game, and I'm actually I was last time I checked number three in one of the zones, the top in the top three of one of the zones. I'm not gonna 
take that move because that's gonna get me mad. Alright. Yeah, well, this is the first zone, Splash Hill Zone. Just like they had Emerald Hill Zone, you had Green Hill Zone, you had all that. All those good zones, Angel Island Zone. Always had something to do with like an island or something, or a, a hill of some sorts. And this one stays true to that. They also play in the homing attack. The homing attack was an awesome addition to me. Um, people don't really have not enjoyed like hearing about. Oh damn! I just lost my ass. See, I even knew that was bottomless pit right there. Uh, yeah, people didn't really think that it would be a good idea. And then, from what I've heard, people now since they played it think it's a great addition and deserves to wow, be um, in the future episodes and everything. I think they're right, because to me, it really was a great addition and yeah, the most precious stage, oh well. And they even bought back the classic jingle there. Yeah. Uh, is the color good? It doesn't look that good. Uh, I think it's fine. This one is, this zone is awesome, the like, act is awesome, because, not just because of like these little zipline gimmicks or anything, it's just like an epic, um, telling you Sonic's back, this is what he's supposed to be like, and this is the kind of gameplay that we all wanted for so long and everything. Um, yeah, this, I, I don't really know what to say, this game has kept me in awe since I first got it and everything. I mean, look, he even got Sonic Soul. <laughs> if you go up there, if you look up, he has like, an animation and he's looking up. And the screen looks up if you do that for long enough. I am gonna try beating the game in one sitting, so yeah. But this part is gonna get a big change. 800, 1600, 1600, 1600. I'm a person who kind of cares for the score, so. And I know this act really well because uh, I've been I tried to get a Chaos Emerald here and I kept trying to do it over and it's like a failing. Because special stages are actually kind of hard the first time you try them. Oh, and also one thing the um, the fear right there when I stop talking, the they kind of change like you know in the speed shoes in old games uh, you would what's it called? Like Sonic, um, the music would just speed up and Sonic would fast and everything. Yes. Oh wow, I died. Bottom spit. <laughs> Great. Done. Act 3 of the first zone. Perfect. And I was just saying about, I was talking about how I actually know the zone is in this act. Well, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so the, the music's gonna speed up and at the end of it, you're gonna hear, uh, you'll hear, like, the drums, the, they have the old Genesis drums back and everything, you're gonna hear like a remix version, a mini remix. If you, I don't know if you have more than one speech, is if they stack up or anything, but I think that was pretty cool that they did that. And we're actually about to beat this act, if I can get, I just wanted the extra life, that's why. I didn't know that was actually a bottomless pit, but I never fell down there. Oh well. In this part, you bounce, and a homie attack these guys. Because otherwise you'll die. Put the bottom of the down there. I learned that the hard way. Special stage number two. And look at the um, act clear sign. They try to make it like look red, like the sunset and zenning it. And that's that was pretty cool. When I saw that. He had the old 16-bit Sonic sprite. <laughs> His waiting position. In like chibi form. Oh, this one, this special stage, you're gonna need a lot of rings for it. And it, you're gonna need crap. good maneuvering skills, because if you keep hitting the wall, you're gonna waste time. And this special stage, you need to not waste time as much as possible while collecting rings. I think it's pretty cool how they, like, kind of remix the Sonic 1 song. And these things are back from Sonic 1. Where you hit them and then you 
I'll be honest, I never got all the cast on Sonic 1. Like, maybe I did once in my whole ever, like, career... A career? <laughs> my whole, like, childhood playing Sonic 1. I could never get all of them. Which I guess could be kind of sad if you think about it, but... Yeah, it's, uh... It does something. But, I've seen the ending and everything. Yeah, but this is Sonic 4. I mean, the ending is... When you get all the Chaos Emeralds here, it's pretty cool too. I never actually saw... Oh wait, you know what I just realized? I never actually saw the Wii version's ending. Secret ending. Because in the iPod version, it's actually the E3 version of the game. So... Um, yeah, I, it's actually the E3 version of the game build of the game. So, it's kind of different than this version. Now let's go kill Robotnik, Eggman, whatever you would like to call him. This game suits any name. So don't get mad just because it's not called um, Robotnik in the manual. Or in the, not manual, but in the manual. So you can kill him the class play or you can use the home attack. Um, for speedrunners, I suggest using the class just hitting it from like below. Crush Dr. Eggman. <laughs> wow, that's nice of you. I remember when I was small, I used to like, after I killed him, I'd always, um, not to kill him, but destroy him, I'd always, uh, keep jumping by him just to get more, to pretend like I'm killing him, like hitting him more and more, just to like make him get mad and stuff. Even though he couldn't get mad because it's not possible. 36 seconds. My highest in the Wii is 34, but that, yeah. Extra life. And now we're gonna go to the world map. Awesome music. There's a special stage. Zone thingy. And we finished Splash Hill Zone. So there's four zones in this game, um, not excluding special stages and the final zone. Next up is Casino Street, and we're gonna go right to there right now. There's also two modes, but I'll talk about those maybe at the end. I don't know, if I remember. Hopefully. Now this mode comes from a big throwback to uh, Casino Street. Yeah, no, Casino Night, because this is Casino Street. What am I saying? Casino Street Zone. It's a big throwback to Casino Night from Sonic 2, which is a zone I'm pretty sure a lot of people love. Oh wow. Oh well. Because, ow. Because of the high um, gambling rate for little kids that we're allowed to gamble in this game. I don't know. People just love it. I loved it. I loved being able to go in the slot machine. Because I couldn't go to the casino when I was small. <laughs> um, I played this zone up this act a lot too. Hopefully that didn't jinx me. And yeah. Oh, let's just try the slot tap. Just for the sake of the LP. Just to show you guys. Let's see if I'm lucky. Let's go, let's go. Sonic, yeah. Come on, come on. Yeah, another Sonic. Three, 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 yeah! Alright, that was awesome. 30k points. I'll try my luck again. Once you go in once, you can't go in. And not go in again. There's actually a level in the iPod Touch version dedicated to... Dedicated, dedicated uh, solely to the slot machine. Well, to points, but the slot machine caters like, a lot towards it. You gotta get a hundred thousand points, two jackpots, and you get it. And jackpots aren't exactly that hard to get in the iPod Touch version. Not sure about these versions. I never really tried it. This part you can get extra life. You 